Once you get to model 2, you're going to have to put in a chamfer that is not quite 45 degrees. It says it's 30 degrees, so you have to do that um, a little differently. You're also going to need to put a hole in here. Moving down to model 3, you're going to need to make a rounded slot. And model 4 is just kind of a combination of a lot of different things. So I'm going to show you how to do all those things. Although model 4, you also have to make it in metric. So let's start with that. If you need to make a metric part, you can't just click new part. You have to go up to here to click new and I believe it starts you out in English so if you choose the metric option here's the standard millimeter dot ipt dot part file so we click create we're gonna create a two-dimensional sketch and I'm just gonna give you an example of one so I'm just gonna create a rectangle here and dimension this quick I'm gonna make it uh, 50 millimeters get a zoom out by 100 millimeters and finish that then extrude that to I'm gonna say 65 millimeters and we'll take a look at that so here's my part if you want to do a chamfer so again that's how you create a metric part um, don't forget you need to always check the properties of that part before you begin cutting into it um, I'm gonna do a chamfer here and I want to do it on this edge but I want it to be down 20 millimeters start down 20 millimeters and be at a 30 degree angle or sorry a 60 degree angle going in and that's kind of similar to this one here you're going down 0.75 right here 0.75 inches in this case and it says it's a 30 degree angle well that's the top angle you need to record the um, the bottom angle for that edge so in this case even though it says 30 it's really a 60 degree angle from this horizontal face to that angle there so um, I want to do a 20 millimeter, so that's my distance. And if you look at this, that's a D. Uh, I want it a distance and an angle, not a D and a D. So a D and an A. So 20 millimeters down on this face, and not a 45 degree angle. I want to do a 60 degree angle from that face to this edge. So if I click that, now you can see that cut piece is down 20 millimeters, and it's this angle here is a 60 degree angle. Um, that would be very similar to this because this angle is also a 60 degree angle which is the complement of the other angle the 30 degree angle here so remember your complementary angles add up to be 90 if this is 30 on the top that's 60 on the bottom so that's how you create that we click the check and now if I want to create a slot in here I'm going to sketch on this and I'm going to start by doing a circle so I'm going to make a 10 millimeter circle another 10 millimeter circle I didn't line them up did that on purpose and I'm gonna put this from this edge I'm gonna set that to 25 millimeters and I'm gonna dimension it's a little easier if you click the edge first ah quick dimension from here to that point there we go 25 and um, you can constrain it to a, the same horizontal constraints. So if I click this horizontal, I can choose that, and this will snap to it. Whoops, I accidentally hit the, the button there. Very center, and then very center, and it'll snap down to it. Uh, you could also constrain both of them one at a time to the bottom. Uh, that would work just as well. So I'm going to set this, uh, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to set it to 20. Um, but what you see happens is they both move. So if you don't use that horizontal constraint, you just constrain both of them individually. Then I'm, I'm going to add a line on the top edge of this circle, and you can see it snaps to that from there to here, and the same thing here. So you can see now I have this slot. So if I finish the sketch and I extrude, I can choose all these pieces, and it'll cut a slot. Um, so you want to open up this tab here, this extrude tab. I'm going to change the direction to go in, and I'm going to set the distance to all. Um, and that will make sure it cuts all the way to the other side, which in this case turned out to be a little less than the default. So if I click OK, now I have a slot in there. And I can rotate this down. You can see it's a, a nice looking slot. That should get you everything that you need to complete all of these parts.